Ah yes, the Urukai are back, and we are here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you today. Um, today is the attack on the Westfold, and it's mentioned in the Lord of the Rings films, like when Theoden's like, "Where was Gondor when the Westfold fell?" And it's like this is this is kind of we're doing a battle like of the Urukai attack on the Westfold itself, and it should be a pretty good one. It's um, not in the uh, defenders' favour, as you could imagine. This is like. An entire Urukai army going up against uh, a meagre defense by the Rohirrim. But it's not a bad defense, and we are using the Rohan sub mod, so we have some excellent units on the uh, on the battlefield. We have some Riddermark spears here. These guys look excellent. Look at these guys. Look at I love the detail on these guys. They do look really, really good. And what I imagine um, the Rohirrim like infantry would look like. Let's find some really like elite stuff. We've got some Sons of Edoras over here, like some heavy axe units. These are going to compete with the Urukai. These guys look goddamn awesome. But they, look at that. The arm looks awesome. I mean, everything looks great. I can't wait till Rohan does get its uh, uh, like update and they look a lot better. But for now, I can live with this mod. This is uh, what's this? The Royal Guard. Ooh. Yeah, they'll be a last stand. Uh, unit sort of thing or maybe um, we'll push out with them and what else we do have a little sneaky cav force over here because uh, the Isengard I think this was a uh, Microsoft PowerPoint was sending around like about eight or nine units to go and attack this side and then sneak up and we'd anticipate that someone would try this so we're going to when the time is right uh, send and they send start sending units up the slope uh, attack them in the rear just to try and harass them. We'll see if we can do any damage. We do have some units already defending this area as well. Um, two units of ridden mark spears. They should be able to hold for a while. But it is going to be an uphill task. We are outnumbered. The Urukai are very, very good. And uh, we'll have to see what happens. See whether the West Vol can hold this time. Whether Gondor will ever be needed. But here we have some uh, archers just having a, having a few shots. I mean, they're all scared shot themselves. Don't know why you're shooting the towers. Like... Gandalf would say, don't shoot the towers, you'd say shoot the trolls, but in this case, just shoot the men, like, behind the towers, like, it's a lot better. But, I mean, losing a couple there, this poor guy's not going to see much more of the battle. That's a shame. But if you guys want to see more Lord of the Rings action, then please do leave a like and subscribe. And a comment if there's any scenarios that you'd like me to try and uh, replicate or recreate, or whatever the word you use. But it looks like the Urukai, these Orc mercenaries are going to get onto the wall first. Let's have a look at these guys. We don't see the Orc mercenaries very often. If the camera will allow me. These guys look pretty damn cool. Sending in the Orcs first because even the Urukai think Orc lives don't matter. But yes. I hope you guys enjoy the battle and show your support. We are so... Well, we are actually at 1100 subs at this point. So thank you so much for the support there. Let's just keep that figure going up, I'd say. Nothing wrong with that. And we've got some Urukai scouts over here landing as well. Um, I think, I can't remember, this might be Holy Knight. I, one of the players playing. Um, I know that the rest of this force here is mostly Microsoft PowerPoints, but this is all going to merge together very soon. We also have um, Holy Knight out here, and also Heroes of the Greeks, I'm pretty sure, is the other player out here. And I am defending with Aiden at the moment. I can remember that as much as possible. Um, obviously, I am in the gold and Aiden is in the blue, but apart from that, I couldn't tell you which, I mean, apart from, I'm pretty sure that army there is Microsoft PowerPoints, I couldn't really tell you where the rest is here. But we are uh, pulling back, it looks like the artillery is causing some devastation to our units, this unit's already lost about 18 men to a catapult shot. There are their corpses, we missed them dearly, yeah, this, and that's another good hit there, he got on my arches, he took out a lot there actually. So we need to really spread out our forces a bit more because they have a lot of ammo on those uh, catapults. I think they've all got brought a catapult as well, brought an onager. So they are going to do some damage. They do. They have now landed. I have um, the orc mercenaries and they've taken a few towers. We are ready for them. We've got some shield wall. We've got some oathmen over here taking their oaths to Theoden. These guys look awesome in their shield wall. Let's have a look at that. Look at that. Excellent. No one's getting past that. I mean, looking at it like this, I feel like this is not a very good shield wall. Like, throwing to Britannia, you wouldn't have this gap here. What is going on here? Like, some some guy could di directly shoot you in the face, sir, with a crossbow. Which, 
I'm pretty sure the Orokai have probably brought a lot of crossbows. It's kind of what they excel in. And yeah, they're just happy to set our city on a fire. It looks like Westfall is going to burn whatever happens. Um, win or die. And they're taking their time. I won't, I won't lie in getting some troops up here. They're just taking as much time. They're bringing up some crossbows, um, which is not a good sign. They're also sending up lots of Orokai scouts. Lots of Uruk this unit I've never really seen before. Urukai spears. I'm guessing like just the spear unit of the scouts, really. I mean, they look cool as well. But look at their jaggedy um, spears just to show that they're not that elite. But yes, we are starting. Oh, we are starting to see quite a lot of uh, well, cheap units going up first. And we've also got another hit here that's coming in. Oh, that's another. That's a good hit. I kind of wish I zoomed in for that, but we can see the aftermath. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Riddermark Spears hold, holding here, holding the line. It's kind of the price you pay by holding a choke point. You've got to got to accept it. Here's another one. Is this one going to hit? I don't know. This looks like it's going to overshoot. Yeah. Overshoot and undershoot. A bit of both. But yes, it looks like the Urukai are quite happy to, to defend, uh, just to take the lower section, which we've given up to them. We didn't want to defend the walls, really. We could have possibly defended here and the walls, but... Um, it would have been a bit of a risk. Would have been interesting. We could have possibly done it. Um, who knows? But yes, here we go. The columns of infantry coming around here of the Oryx. Look at these goddamn monsters. They look so good, though. We have some crossbows, some white and stormers, which I'm pretty sure is the general Urukai infantry. Urukai scouts. Yeah, this is quite an elite, uh, uh, quite elite like task force going around here. Lots of Urukai infantry, and they, they'll probably hold the line for a long time. It's just whether we can catch some of them unawares with the cavalry. That would be very handy if we could. We could have snuck this cavalry all the way round. I did realise that there's like a tiny little gap down there. You could get it all the way round to surround the main army. Um, and there's probably some more juicy targets over there, like artillery, for instance. But here we go. It looks like there's already going to be some shooting going on here. Arrows being let loose, focusing down these crossbows. Not letting them uh, just like happily just set up there. We're gonna let them pay, rush them in, maybe rush them into doing something that they didn't really want to do. Looks like they're gonna send in some uh, orc mercenaries first as well. Are they gonna set them in? Oh no, that's not orc mercenaries. They're uh, Urukai scouts. No, nope, they're just getting closer. Just getting closer. Okay. Look at you, foolish men. What are you doing? Yeah, it looks like yeah, looks like the. Um, Ridmark Spears, look at from their perspective. That is just terrifying. You won't want to even look down there. But they are getting a shot at now. And there's volleys going back. It's just going to turn into a bit of an archer skirmish to start with, it seems, before anything really happens. Crossbow's losing a few men, but not too many. Nothing to really worry about. But they are bulking up quite a lot, or like, blobbing up quite a lot here, which is handy for us. Making some nice, easy targets. And there they go, they're spreading out now. Moving out. There we go. A little bit of a pain. Them. And now we're gonna shoot this single unit here. But they can take a lot of they can take a lot of arrows. They've got a lot of armor of these guys. Looks like these orc mercenaries are getting ready for a fight as well. The artillery constantly firing and it's gonna Focused on so many of like just look for any units of blobs really. Um, this unit here, 99 already, the ridden mark spears, never a good sign. Here we go though, the first clash of infantry going in, and it's gonna be some orc mercenaries against these oathmen. I imagine the oathmen will win, uh, mainly because these are just orcs. They're pretty awful. Isengard probably the only good. Uh, evil faction currently. That was a very close shot. Um, I presume they were aiming for stuff back here. Oh yes, good hit. A really good hit. Killing quite a lot of Oathmen, getting some arch- oh no, these aren't even archers. These are um, Sons of Edorus. Oh, we need to keep them safe. Really need to keep them safe. Yeah, these Orc Mercenaries, they look, they look like they're gonna die quite quickly. They're not even that tall. They're Diddy. Didn't even realize they're so small. Oh, you fool, you died to a you died to an orc. If you die to an orc, then that's pretty awful. Look at this guy out here, taking names. 
Go on, kill him. You're doing the same move over and over. Oh, but he didn't expect it again. And then he gets shot in the, stabbed in the back. Ah. Takes one down, but then dies. That's something I didn't know, actually, that the average amount of men that, like, uh, like a soldier would kill in a battle is 0 0.8 of a man is the average. So, uh, that, that is quite surprising. I didn't know that. Don't even, so on average, most men don't even kill someone. But here we go. Orc mercenaries going in hit over here as well against these Riddermark Spears. And then these guys, these guys will probably hold all right as well. Again, it's orcs. I don't expect these spears to break anytime soon. They're pretty, they're pretty damn tough. These Riddermark spears are, I think, the most elite unit of spears you can get. Most of the Rohirrim or the Rohan armies are very, very elite that we've brought today. But um, it's still not going to be a lot enough, possibly. I imagine there's like there's a lot of Urukai. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, Rohan couldn't even defeat um, the Uruks on their own. They needed elves in the movies. They needed, like, well, they needed another load of Rohirrim just to appear. So we'll see what happens here. But, I mean, the Urukai, they're pretty damn good. Like, even their, like, normal units are really, really good. Like, Urukai infantry. Which are probably a match for these guys. Especially when they have artillery to soften them up as well. I see some... I see Rohirrim dying here to, a. Uh, or Rohan soldiers dying here to orcs. That's not on. You need to be dying to stuff like, well, not even the scouts, like Urukai infantry. We need to be saving every man that's possible. And there we go, scouts now joining the fight. We now also have a fight over here. Looks like, what's this? Urukai scouts breaking. We are breaking a lot of their first units. But this is a bit of a weak spot over here. These Rinomark spears not doing so well. So we're having to send in some Oathmen already. We're going in against Berserkers. Interesting, a very elite unit going in first. But they are very good at breaking up lines, causing chaos. There they are. The Berserkers with their huge, huge swords. If you've seen the movies, then you know what damage they can do. They'll be suicidal enough to bring down walls as well. And there we go. We're, we're slowly killing them. I mean, that's the thing. Berserkers in prolonged melee, not great. Like, this choke point area, they'll they'll start to die. But they are going to take a lot of names with them, it would seem. And I'm setting up, setting up some archers. This unit of archers is pretty beaten up, though. It keeps also wanting to get into combat. Which is a bit annoying. And they're shooting on the move. I didn't realise you were like the Mongols that could do that. Here we go. Looks like the Rudermark Spears here going to hold just as well. Perfectly fine. Only lost a few. They were on 99 you have to take into mind before they went into combat. So not, a lot ma not lost masses. Um, over here, Oathman, how many they lost? And they've been in combat the longest, 19 men. And they're now up against Urukai Infantry. These guys should do okay. They'll, it's a fairly even fight, I imagine. Yeah, combat even. It's over here that's the main concern for me. Um, Riddermark Spears already breaking. Well, not breaking, but like, they're looking tired. Combat even. They're getting focused down as well. They've got a nice little... They are like just about able to be like shot by the archers here. Like... They're just on top of this hill. Everyone else is like just sat down below quite nicely. They're safe from any ar arrows. If you try to shoot here, like these archers can't really shoot. So I'm going to shoot all the archers back here. Just trying to slow them down. It's not really doing much damage. There's, and there's plenty of them. This unit of archers outnumbered so but massively as well. They're nearly out of ammo. Which is not a good sign that we're already nearly out of ammo. And we're very early on into this battle. Let's just have a look at where the uh, force is. Okay, it's nearly getting up the slope now. It's getting up the slope. The cavalry is yet to move. It's still lying in wait. Just remember that the cavalry's there. I'll try and remember that cavalry's there. We don't want to miss out. Um, what else has gone in here? We've got some Urukai spears. Yeah, there's a lot of men going in here. They're, some of them aren't even fighting. They've not even really been given the attack order. They just stood here. Like these scouts, for instance. They just stood here. 
don't know if this is just a misclick or whatever, but we're having a, these archers are now going into combat. I don't know if they've run out of ammo. They keep doing this. This was a problem that constantly happened for me the entire battle. They kept wanting to. No, they are. They're just going to fight. Yeah, so they kept trying to get into combat, like if they were being told to shoot at someone, or like if they were shoot. I was telling them to focus on a certain unit, then they'd um. They'd like chase after it, like through the units. So it's probably like some of the, these archers, and they've now like run off that way. So they're trying to chase them. Uh, we should really start focusing down these onagers and um, with some fire arrows or something like that. The artillery crew looks so weird. I didn't even realize that. Is that what like an uruk looks like underneath? Fair enough. They're really excited to be on the onager crew. I'll tell you that. Orc mercenaries over here. I think they've probably gone back into combat a couple of times now, but they're breaking permanently. Urukai infantry and scouts now fighting it out. These Oathmen still holding the line. That's what we like to see. Doing really well. I mean, this unit here, um, of dismounted shield archers, like, might want to start shooting, like, these pikes here, for instance. These pikes are setting up huge target of pikes to uh, kill in this battle. We've got to get pikes, and we've got to get, well, uh, artillery or crossbows, probably our next one, or berserkers, because they're also an undefended unit. But where's this artillery gonna land? Ooh, it's not. Looks like a good hit. Oh no, just a little bit to the left. Just gotta tell them move a little bit to the right, and it'll be fine. Um, this is a bit of cause for concern. Pikes in combat. Um, this unit's losing decisively, and it's getting folks down. The other unit's on even. Um, so we might need to set up something or some archers to focus down these pikes. Because this is not looking good for the Rohirrim, but it looks good for us. Because this is very, I don't know, it just looks beautiful. Look at all the, the green against the black and the brown. It looks awesome. And the red of the blood. The blood of men being shed this day. But yeah, the pikes doing their, their job, little pokey pokey, and then some scouts ahead, just chopping people down. A few berserkers left as well in here. This is a, yeah, this is turning into a real cause of problems. Like this line has shrunk a lot since we just arrived here. What's coming up? There's some archers so up here. Um, this is pretty good. These archers so up here, and they're focusing down them as well. But there they go, they're breaking. Um, oh, a huge break. I don't know why these guys are breaking. Did they, oh, these ones had run out of ammo. But yeah, huge problem here. So these are Urukai already through. So we're having to send up some dismounted ro uh, Oathmen. And they're not going to be able to hold it back. So now these Berserkers are able to get in behind and attack these Riddermark Spears. That's not so good. Oh, no. Yeah, and they're going to just chop these guys down. Look at them. Destroying them. Chopping heads off. Taking names. Yeah, those Riddermark Spears... Absolutely annihilated and they're breaking just like that and now we're sending in some oathmen of our own to contain these guys But this is a real problem. Is this flank now? This is a real problem more oathmen going up This is code red really neat should have started to think about pulling back some units Like we're sending up even more dismounted Rohan oathmen going in There's a lot of oathmen here clearly, uh, but yeah, these guys are just getting like Stuck in a, a hard spot here. This is not good Holding back all this and also then trying to hold back these pikes. That's not so good. Yeah, they've already lost quite a few men. Oh, there's a lot of catapults now going in. Focusing these guys now. Sons of Edoras going in. Jeez, there's a lot of units. There's a lot of units here for them as well. Oh, that's nearly a good hit from the uh, catapult there. Just missing. Look at all these guys. It's getting a little laggy because of the amount of men like in this small area. Oh my gosh, what a hit. Another good hit there. There's some good hits going in with the artillery. That's not going to help uh, the Rohan like morale. Another good hit there. Yeah, I mean this this mounted Oathman unit which was like only just joined the battle. It like joined not like was the first unit to go in to try and like hold this choke point back already down to 50 well less than 50 now um that is insane ridiculous these guys getting focused down this is a really good target for archers need to be focusing this down 
What's it like in the middle? The middle is looking okay. And these archers really need to get out of combat though, because they're just dying and like they have ammo left. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know. I must have not realized this. I mean, in fairness, I was like majorly concentrated on over here and trying to get this sorted out. I think that was the main problem. Um, over here, my unit of Oathman is finally starting to die off. There's 50 of them left. They're losing decisively. We have some spears ready in position to take over when they die. But we'll see what happens. It looks like what we've got in here. We've got Berserkers, Urukai Infantry, the Scouts. So just the Berserkers have been sent in new though. New unit to be sent in. Enemy units have been rallied. That's not a good sign. Enemy units that are rallied. These pikes are starting to break. That's really good. They're sort of getting flanked, which is the cause of it, I think. Got a lot of Oathmen up here. So so many units of Rohan have been like coming into this area. We need to do well here. We are trying to break this unit. We're trying to break this unit to get this Sons of Edoras unit all the way around and surround all these units. That was another good hit. Like the look of their artillery, they just hit the front line of that, of that unit. Nothing else. Here we go, Sons of Edoras going around. 56 of them can go around and they can surround all these guys. Get into the side, start chopping some, chopping some heads off like the Urukai did to us. Those Berserkers, dirty Berserkers, some good hits though from their artillery stuff. Oh, and they get focused down though by uh, crossbows. That was a really good angle. Well, well countered by the uh, uh, Isengard player there. And that was a good hit again from artillery. Jeez. I mean, it's a perfect angle for them. The artillery is just like shooting up. And it's just got to hit anything in this huge like angle here. They must have got so many kills. I would like to see how many kills the, ar Ur the artillery's got. I was about to say Urukai have got. Well, the Urukai have got a lot of kills. Because there's a lot of Urukai. The artillery in particular. Let's see how they do. And yeah, that Sons of Edoras unit, basically gone already. I'm having to send in. Are these dismounted shield archers going in? They're out of ammo. Holding back this line. Um, I don't know really what we can do. We need to, did, do need some cavalry really just to like charge these guys down. But. The cavalry's already, it's already outside. Ready and prepared. Um, as you can see, we're about, oh, there you go. Perfect timing. They are now engaging in the rear on this slope. S some Riddermark Spears going to defend first against some Urukai infantry. And this will be a long, long grind here, to be honest. I don't see this moving anytime soon. We've got plenty of reserves. Um, they did shoot at us first when we pulled back just so they couldn't get easy shots at us. That's that shouldn't be a problem. Urukai arch or crossbows here not doing so well. Focus down quite a lot. Is this another unit of crossbows? It is. So they got plenty of crossbows ready. The whole unit has been destroyed. That's not good either. So that's going okay. It looks like the center is about to. Uh, well, the first unit of the center is about to break. This unit had been here since the very beginning, and now we have Ridmark spears ready to hold. Take over from these Urukai swords, or to take on these Urukai swords and scouts and whatever else is in here. More artillery going off. Where's this going? Oh, it's going for this Sons of Edoras unit. Oh, that's a good hit. That's a really good hit. What another good hit? That unit's down a half its unit. And this is mine. It was so sad when I saw this happen. I thought these guys are well out of danger, like from arrows and stuff like that. He won't aim for this unit, and he did. So I think it's it's not going to be long till these guys go in because they're just soaking up the fire here. They're just such an expensive unit as well, and they're kind of just getting trashed. Um, not a good sign is this though. The Urukai have surrounded um, all the Oathmen and just everything that was left here, and we lost a lot of men here. We've uh, we're down to about half our strength, and the Urukai have lost about two thousand of their men as well. So we are killing about a man for man. So the numbers. Um, for Urukai is still gonna like make the difference. We've got some dismounted royal guard now going up, so a very elite unit. They're quite happy just to stand here and shoot them. And they're gonna carry on shooting them with artillery. Next, the burning building. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a really good hit. But we are now setting up another. I was not going to lose this side, this area over here. We were holding well. Like, I know this unit is broken, but we've held here for ages, and we've held here in the middle for a long, long time as well. So I've got some dismounted Royal Guard of my own, ready and set up. 
They're going to form shield wall, hopefully. And they're going to get ready to repel this unit here. What unit is this? Samurakai. I should have guessed. Samurakai uh, infantry. And we've got some berserkers coming as well to support them. But it is that I am very aware that you can go between these buildings here. So the plan is is to let these guys engage and then we're going to surround them. That is the plan. But he's setting up a lot of reserves. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. A lot of reserves going in here. The plan was to let all the reserves get sucked in like this unit as well. But they have so much over here. They could just send units over. But I'm pretty sure it won't be long till this unit is uh, mobilized to try and help sort, sort them out. Riddermark Axeman. I've not seen this unit yet. They're uh, a little bit worse than Sons of Edoris, but they're still good. A bit cheaper, but they'll do the job as well. And they're excited, it seems. They're excited to do some work. And there you go. Look look at this unit. Dismounted Royal Guard, and they're losing decisively already. I know that it's probably because of the Berserkers, but they're already getting chopped down. Not a good sign. So these Riddermark Axes are going to need to come and help and save the day. And that's not good in entire units being obliterated. This Royal Guard, they've lost so many men. They've lost countless amounts of men, and they're going into combat. Aiden has given up. He's going to just send them in and fight that out. If they're going to... If they're gonna die, they're gonna die fighting. And it looks like they're gonna fight some white hand stormers. Excellent. See what's going on over here. Looks like the cavalry has been mobilized. The cavalry is being mobilized. We have Riddermark Lancers and what are these? More Riddermark Lancers. They should do just fine. They should do just fine. So, the idea, they've captured this, the idea is to go and try and get their general. Because he's in the rear. But obviously they do have a lot of reserves left. It could all end very, very poorly. But we have to try something, we've got to try and break, we've got to try and break uh, Microsoft PowerPoint's army here. Because that, that, that means it's one army less, because I think he still has quite a bit over here. Um, though heroes and holy knight also have just as much, and it's uh, it's not looking good. Here you go, here you go. You can see the Riddermark axes are winning this fight against the Urukai infantry. I don't know how long this will last because they are, they are like a shock infantry unit, like Berserkers and the Sons of Edoras. So they will probably, as the battle go like battle goes on, start to lose this. You're going to see quite a few of them falling, and they're a smaller unit. Like there's less of them than there is the Urukai. But good that, but good God, they fight hard. They'll break some shields. Yeah, so I mean, this is not good. I've now alerted them to like a little passageway through. I should have possibly now, in hindsight, not have done this, um, because now I mean they can just surround this unit if they want to, because they realise they can get down there. Because this unit, this dismounted uh, Royal Guard, even though they're Royal Guard, uh, apparently they're not good enough. Not good. They don't even have all, all have swords. How is a Royal Guard? You have mismatched weapons. But it's cool. One. I mean, Rohim often use axes as well, so that's fine. We can. I'll allow it. And there we go. Another a brave fallen hero there. Um, this unit, I mean, we've done well over here. This, like, choke point here, for instance. I don't know how many men we've actually killed, but we're slowing them down. But, I mean, we are gradually getting pushed back. Awesome to watch. Like, look, you can see, like, sort of where they started, like, the Rohirrim. Like, all the way over here where my uh, mouse is. And they're slowly getting pushed back by the numbers, but it's just delaying tactics by the spears. And they don't die easily. They do not die easily. Since it's the fall of the Westfall, we could have actually had the Dunland tribes in this. It would have been quite good to have Dunland. We've not seen Dunland in a little while, so that would have been quite fun. But, we can all, another time perhaps, we 
we can have Dunland in a battle. Those are really good units as well. I'm surprised no one plays them more often. Do enjoy seeing them on the battlefield. Look, as you can see here, we now mobilize that final unit of uh, spears. We've also now got our dismounted shield archers in here. This is becoming a bit of a blob. Um, so I imagine the crossbows are probably having a... Well, they should be having a great time, but they are actually not shooting very well. And the cavalry is here. So uh, they didn't quite... Uh, did miss the charge, but they didn't quite catch out the general either. The general is still very much safe. And these white and stormers, they're pretty nasty. Um, if they get sent in with their big shields, they'll probably not do too well. But I mean, the cavalry now, it, there's not much it can do. Like, it can't really go... If it retreats, it's going to lose more casualties. If it stands, it's going to it's gonna die eventually. But it's going to take some men with it. Um, I don't know how many men they have actually killed. Probably not many. They look like they killed about three or four. Uh, they look like they killed a couple in each unit, maybe. Oh, well. That's not so good. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. Could have been in, like I said, maybe should have sent the cavalry around to attack this side. Because, I mean, there's still some good units out here. We could have got, like, pikes artillery and um, like if you can get a good charge in the pikes in the rear that'll do a lot of damage um i mean look at these guys they're just chilling out here. they're like yeah we don't need anything to do battles are uh, well under control which it is to be fair i mean having a set it was sending units back we had abandoning this area the ridamark spears here have been surrounded how are these ridamark spearmen winning still i mean we now send in this unit of sons of Edoras as well they're winning decisively apparently. They're up against pikes. I'm not quite sure how they are. But they've held here for ages. This whole area, we've only had to, we've, this has been a great choke point to hold. We've only had to send about two units in. Sunders of Edoras I wouldn't have sent in unless they were getting focused down by artillery. But I mean, good god, these men have held well. Brave men, brave. To the last man. Stabby stab from the pikes. Just little stabby stabs. And here we come. Here they come. In a strange Q formation. The Urukai infantry. In two by two. Yes. This is apparently how all the Urukai move now. Kind of looks quite cool. But there you go. They're going to surround these guys. And this is probably going to be curtains for the Ur uh, for the Riddermark Spearmen. It's going to be painful to watch. These brave, brave men. But what's, so, what has Rohan got left? Um, well, not much. It's got two Rudermark Spears here, some dismounted shield archers. It's got some dismounted Royal Guard, which is good that they've got some elite units left. Um, lots of archers left, not many ar uh, arrows. Okay, there's general sniping going on. I'm not sure if I like that. I'm not a big fan of that. So we've got some more dismounted Royal Guard. Yeah, getting some good hits. That's just infuriating. So I move him. Try and get him out of range. But I presume that's probably still in range. They've got more dismounted Royal Guard. Lots of archers. They've got some Oathmen over here. Um, which is good. But yes, there's a lot of... Yeah, there you go. All the rears is broken. How is this unit still holding? They're surrounded and they're still holding. Brave men, you shall go down as heroes, and you shall have a place in the halls of our fathers. Because I'm sorry, but you are destined to die. There's no way you can fight your way out of this one. They'll just send more if you win. They've got more. Like, look how many, look how many men they've got. This is all, this is all infantry as well. There's Berserkers, more Berserkers. There's two fresh units. Oh, no. Nearly fresh units of Berserkers. Wyand Stormers, which are basically fresh. Yeah, you're not getting through this, unfortunately. Is this the general? No, it's not. There they go. They're breaking now. It's a sad sight. Let's watch their downfall. The glorious green cut cloaks of Rohan bloodied with their own blood and there they go they're getting cut down poor guys they don't deserve it they deserve mercy like, look at that guy he's like no so much 
for Rohan and the Westfold. Um, yeah, it's now what's it, what's happening over here? There's a big old Q, uh, Q getting up, getting ready. The cavalry's still fighting it out over here. Yeah, cavalry. There's pikes in it now, so this is just this is a cavalryman's worst nightmare. But I mean, they are charging straight into like the formation. That's not so good. We are also making a little bit of headway over here. We are nearly pushing through. There is hope. If this cavalry can get through, it could cause a bit of problems. But only for so much, so long. There is so much Urukai infantry left. It is insane. I mean, the, look at that guy. Look at that guy. He looks awesome. But if you have any awesome replays, whether it's Lord of the Rings, whether it's um, just any Total War, uh, do send it in to the Discord. There is like a replays channel. Put it in there. And uh, I'll have a look at it and whether it's worth um, like showing off on the channel. And obviously, if you haven't joined the Discord, the link is down below. And we're getting there's another like some more good hits coming in over here. There's like I was like, come on, when this happened. Like there's a tiny little section of uh, of like infantry that's like Rohan. The rest is Isengard, and you're still hitting the Rohan bit. This isn't. Oh, that looked like it was gonna hit Isengard. They really hate this bit of, like, rock. Uh, what's this going for? Okay, they're just burning more of our village. What's wrong with our... What's wrong with Westfold? What did it ever do to you? We have actually got ammo left, which could be good. Especially when there's, like, huge blobs like this of infantry, like, forming up. They still have Urukai scouts. How these guys have survived the battle, I don't know. What's the balance of power? Let's look at the numbers anyway. Yeah, they've lost about 3,000. We have about 1,000 left, just under. But um, that's no surprise. That's a bad hit by the artery. That's not a good hit either. Okay, they're starting to hit their own stuff. Thank God. It's like... Took them all battled until... The, and then like, the final bit, they finally did it. So they are actually now breaking their own men. That's perfectly fine. Um, their general for Aiden is not looking so good, though. He's already, like, losing decisively. Oh, no. That's the uh, other one. His general unit's doing just fine. The other dismounted Royal Guard is not doing so well, though. I mean, that's some good hits there. I mean, hit these guys as much, as many arrows as possible. Look at that. If you were back here, you are like, oh, I'm never getting to the front. You're going to get hit, killed by an arrow instead, by the looks of it. These beautiful, beautiful men. Dying for a lost cause at this point. There's so many Urukai left. These white and stormers though, they look at them. Just first they should be first into the breach. Well, I don't know. That's the thing, they're a stormer, so you'd think, oh, they're like the assault units, but they're the most elite unit like of infantry you can get. So you don't really want to send them in first. So your Urukai infantry still remain as your like your your into the breach unit or your berserkers, I guess you might send berserkers in first. Well, it's very much up to you what you do. It looks like we got a very weak unit since Vedras going in, um, being supported by dismounted royal guard, which are holding actually. I they barely lost any men. Well, I say that they've actually lost about forty. But I mean, for this amount of men that is left, that's pretty good. If they could hit what get a couple of juicy hits here, that'd be great. There is a little flank that we try to do here. Try to get their archers. Um, like there was a nice clean angle all their arches, but then they've just mobilized like their entire army that was like in reserve. And these pikes and uh, swords will probably lose. It's fine. It's a bit of a shame, a bit of a waste. They probably shouldn't have done this. But we didn't want to go down just defending our uh, town center. We thought we'd go out and do some fighting. So these oathmen are probably going to get caught out and killed um, by, by the stabby stab of the pikes. And the oh, that's a good hit though for us. Yes, we can take that. Excellent. And another one. Ah, yes, keep burning your own kind. Clearly, they need, they, all of a sudden, they, like, must have lost their, their, like, glasses or something. Yeah, they really hate the rocks. That's fine. Just, I mean, hit the rocks or hit your own men. One or the other, that's fine. But it does look like the Westfold is going to fall. Where was Gondor? 
Where was Gondor when the Westfold fell? Probably in Gondor. Don't. It had a lot of other things to like deal with, like Sauron. <laughs> like, good God, Théoden, such a bitter man. Look at that. Look at all these guys waiting in reserve. Just gonna let a few guys just fight it out. And there you go. Looks like those archers are breaking. Is that archers breaking? No. R uh, Oathman. I had to just get these Oathmen back. Get the Oathmen back. Let these archers die. You have a better chance holding at this choke point. I mean, we are everywhere else. Looks like these... Sh oh, what are we sending in here? Archers now being sent in. Helps support these Royal Guard out. I mean, I want to say we're making some headway here. But we're not. We're just holding them where they are. Where they are and which, in fairness, is headway. Like... We're just about holding them where they are. I mean, I say that as they make like a little bit of a push. But they're burning my town. My beautiful town. But yeah, look at the general units that left. He's at 70. This is all with, uh, this is all general sniping. I wasn't appreciating this. But we're going to form shield wall. Um, basically because we know these Oathmen and Archers uh, are doomed. And it looks like they're being... S I should have got these Archers back. Should have saved them for one final defense here, but I mean, we are slowing them down here. But now encouraging them to come up this way as well. Attack another choke point. And they attacked our garden. How dare they? Just destroyed my garden. Put so much effort into that. But it looks like uh, is Aiden's general, he's still looking okay. Yeah, 96. He should hold for a while. Did the cal the cavalry uh yeah the cavalry's not looking so great. Um it must have at some point just like broken. Not quite sure when, but now they've got pikes here ready. Ready to uh hold pike with more pikes and pikes. Lots of pikes. They're just gonna double stack all these pikes. And they're wavering even before they even got like near them. <laughs> they're that scared. Shaking in their boots. Um but yes, I mean there was so much left of the time. It doesn't look good. Balance power's not looking good. But we're going to have one last glorious charge. Let's let's see this. As it comes in. Here comes the cavalry. One final charge. And they die. On their pikes. And I was like, well, for the glory of Rohan, what can you do? You just got to send them in to die. Send them in. Die, you fools. And yeah. Yeah, that's not looking so good. Oh. No. And there they go. Dead for good. Dead for good. Some good hits here, though. Um, still getting good hits on all these guys here. Look at the amount of men just bolts up here. It's ridiculous. But yes, they're now breaking through. So I will just say to you guys, if there's any uh, battles that you want me to try and recreate, whether it's Middle Earth or... Well... Obviously, this one, if it's Middle Earth, that would be great. I always love doing more Rise of Mordor stuff. And there's those scenarios you can do for uh, Middle Earth, basically. If you've got any historical battles as well that you want me to try and do, that is also fine as well. I am open to options. But yeah, they are now trying to, they're now trying to get around. Look, look at these two guys. Just having, like, don't mind us, we're just having a rest. We'll be back in five. You guys can hold till then, right? Nearly a good hit there with those archers that have been sent in. But they're wavering already before they even get into combat. They've got even a little bit of ammo left. A bit of a shame to waste that ammo, but we need the bodies in the front line right now. Oh no, that's not looking so good if you did one of these archers. You're just surrounded by, like, Urukai. Insane. But yes, it looks like the Westfold is going to fall, and then they will march on Helm's Deep. And we all know what happens at Helm's Deep, so who cares? Who cares if we lose here? But it looks like... Oh, it's not looking good. This dismounted uh, Royal Guard's about to break. And these archers all breaking. Look at 64 archers breaking. Such a waste. And they're basically through here as well. They're trying to just force their way through. Don't know how this Berserk unit got round. Must have just, I mean, it's a small unit. It could have just snuck round. There is a fairly big gap here. Um, I'm surprised pathfinding actually worked for it though. But yeah, look at it. These poor, 
Poor beggars trying to hold here. I mean, I think that they're about to get surrounded by yeah, all this Urukai. Let's just, as it all comes in, here it comes. Urukai, is that orc mercenaries left as well? Good God, there's some orc mercenaries that have like somehow survived this as well. I think that's what's disgusting. It's not that the Urukai are winning, it's that the Orcs survive, because who cares about Orcs? And there we go, that unit's breaking. Now the Uruk uh, Berserkers surrounding my general with pikes. They're not feeling it, there's still 51 of them left. They might hold for a little while. And no, they don't. And it's a close defeat. So, for Rohan. So we'll end the replay and we'll have at the have a look at the end results. Um, so, yep, yeah, we had myself... And Aiden playing as Rohan and the Heroes of the Greeks, Holy Knight and Microsoft PowerPoint playing as Isengard. So thank you all for joining that, for that battle. It was a very, very good battle. Um, yep, yeah, nothing really for me did amazing. These Oathmen getting 169 is probably the only unit that actually did really well. I think they were in like that choke point that held for ages at the very far like side of the battlefield. Um, Spears did okay, but yeah, nothing else. Cav did atrocious. Like It wasn't even worth bringing. Uh, Archers did actually okay as well, mostly getting like 80 odd kills, like 70, 80 kills. I'm um, a bit of a shame about the dismounted Royal Guard, but we just like got overwhelmed. Uh, the artillery was a bit of a sh uh, did destroy us. Um, Aiden's like general getting 184 kills, very, very good. His Sons of Edoras getting 148 kills as well, so that's great. His Archers getting 111, so that's really good. Good pickup by his ar for his Archers there. Um, and 93 on some others. Very good. His cavalry also not doing so well. In the end, though, our cavalry was just so late to the battle. Uh, well, not late, but we just didn't find the right opportunity to use it. So we had to just send it in to die, basically. We couldn't... At that point, it was trapped outside. Um, so we'll look at Heroes of the Greeks with his army. He getting 105 kills with his Urukai infantry. Um, and he's got only 49 kills with his artillery. I'm surprised there wasn't more. His um, Berserk is getting 72 kills. That's not so bad. And 113 with his Urukai Scouts. That's actually kind of good for Scouts. They usually break quite early on. Um, Holy Knight, he got 120 kills with his White Hand Stormers. Uh, 341 with his Berserkers. Jesus. They did well. And the other one, another one getting 144. That is insane. It was well done for uh, Holy Knight there. And then Microsoft PowerPoint, he got 109 kills with his Berserkers. 169 with another one. Um, 200 with his Urukai infantry, 179, 152. He actually did insanely well with his infantry. Most of them getting like 100 kills or more. His pikes getting 97 kills. His artillery getting 133. They did very, very well. So Michael PowerPoint probably did the best out of any of the players here. So well done to him. And that is probably it. That's it. That's it for the battle, guys. So if you enjoyed, then please do leave a like, subscribe, and a comment if there's a certain scenario you want me to try out um, and play. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.